Ricky Stewart handed a one-match band, uh, first time ever for a coach, and fined $25,000 that he needs to pay himself. The club will not pay it. Ricky has to do it personally. Uh, is this sufficient or over the top? I think the NRL had no choice but to hand down a match suspension. There was calls for Ricky to be stood down for the remainder of the season. That was just outrageous and ridiculous. I think one game is about as fair as it could have been. There's no question in the world Ricky has shown remorse. He regrets his comments. The club has backed the NRL to make whatever decision they made and, and Ricky will learn from it. But at the end of the day, Ricky is Ricky and, and coaches make mistakes. They, they are forced to go to these post-match press conferences. They're forced to front up when they're at their emotional best. He'd gone through that entire press conference and it got to the last question and the name was brought up and that's what he reacted to. And if people understand that, they may understand the reason he did it. I think it's tough. I think it's tough on the aspect. If we think about when a player is suspended, they miss the game. When a coach... The best part of the week for a coach is game day, coaching the game. As I said, when a player is suspended, they don't miss training. They're still allowed to be part of the group. Mm. It's it's huge. I think it's, it's they're often in the coach's box. The players on game day. It just says it, it, the, the NRL are trying to so set, Ricky, set an example Rick, here because yeah. he's, he's actually the first coach to be uh, suspended. I just I'm just saying it, it's hugely significant. It shouldn't be underestimated how big this is because he can't do anything whatsoever. As, as he's basically been deregistered for one week. Do you think it's fair? I, I would be happy for him to miss the game, not the entire preparation. So you think it's harsh? I think it's harsh. Yeah. I think it's harsh because, as I said, take away what hurts him most, and that's game day. That's coaching. Making a phone call from his home to the team, what, what impact is that going to have? Kenny, how do you sit with this? You were pretty I, strong last yeah, night. I don't agree with it. But you don't agree with it? No, I don't agree with it. I, I, think, I think the NRL have been looking to, to su suspend a coach and... They engineered backwards on this one. I think they went backwards from, OK, well, this is an opportunity to do it, so we'll apply it rather than... You know, I, I, I suppose, look, I, had, I would call it a vigorous conversation today with Andrew Abdo. I, I understand he's, where he's coming from. Uh, I don't agree with it, and he doesn't agree with where I'm at. And look, so what I, was their reason for the... What was the actual... I mean, he, he spoke... He, the, his reason was because uh, the comment was made in a public forum. Which they, an unacceptable comment, and, and, and I said to him, "Well, I, I, I've, I've, you yeah, know, a lot not of people agree with it, though. Well, a lot of people do agree with that. Some calling for harsher yeah. penalty. Oh yeah, well, look, those idiots on radio who don't even use their own names come on under these pseudonyms and and sit there and say that you know you should be getting the rest of the season. Well, you know, piss off, you know. Like, the, the, who cares what they think? There's too many people who I don't think are." invested enough in the game, who just have these off-the-cuff comments. Ricky Stewart made the, made the, said the wrong thing. He acknowledged that almost immediately. I, I've not, not defended once uh, the fact that he said it where he said it. I, I, look, he, I understand... I said this last night. I understand the reasons he did, and I still believe if the reasons ever came out, <clears throat> then people and public opinion would swiftly turn in his favour. I spoke to Abdul about that today and he said we could not find corroborating evidence about that. And I said, well, you've given yourself, what, you started the investigation yesterday and you've closed it today, so you haven't really had a real crack at finding corroborating evidence. But, again, I'll accept that, OK? I'll accept that. I just don't believe that this was worthy of a one-game suspension when we know for a fact that they've been angling to do this for some time, Is that, to you, find the coach to do it to. Do you have, do you have more on that? Have they yeah, been so the NRL, the NRL would cons have been considering going down this path for some time with coaches who, are, who have, have a history of being fined for post-match comments. Uh, knowing that the fine system isn't having an impact, I know of a situation where the NRL were considering hitting a coach with a, a game ban. Another coach. Another coach, a separate coach to yes. Ricky. Now, uh, everyone keeps calling this a one-game ban, guys. It's, it, you've got to see it more than that. Mm. I, I, that's the way I'm seeing it. He's been removed from the club. Not only that, Dave. On the one hand, the NRL well, has, has had this suspension system that they've now implemented in place <clears throat> to apply to coaches because they don't believe coaches are getting the lesson about criticising generally referees after a game. 
Then on the other hand, we've got this incident, which is such a one-off and so out of the context of everything that's ever happened in the game before, that it's the first time it's happened. Mm. And I think if you treated it as a once-in-a-lifetime type thing where, mate, you've really stuffed up here, you shouldn't have done it, therefore you're going to be fined for it and that's it, I think it would, it would rest there. But they've managed to take the bit out of this that they want to apply and the bit out of this that they want to apply and they've put it all in there and they've just ignored the overall... There's no consistency between saying, well, Ricky, you said the wrong thing here, that's just... Yeah, you know, it's extremely out of left field what you've done, but at the same token, you blokes aren't copping the tip, so we're going to sit down, we're going to apply what we're going to apply to every other coach yeah. for what you said. It's just, the there's game, no consistency in there. In fairness, though, Paul, the, the game does have a responsibility to do the right thing, and Ricky oh, knows. I Ricky know, conceded I, here, I, I mate, agree with that, that he'd done the wrong we, thing. I agree with and that. And I get what you're that. saying. Like, last week, Nathan Cleary's sitting in the, in the box next to his father at the Penrith game, and he's out on suspension, and, and the situation for a coach is... You know, Ricky can't attend training sessions. Everything, everything. Oh, I, I, he no, can't I coach the side for a week. I can but, accept but the NRL needed to the do something. If the NRL is standing him down, Dave, they really had no alternative but to make it so it was a week-long thing because he's not out on the field playing on game day. He's sitting in they the coaching They didn't need to stand him down, though. Coaching so fine box. would be... Fine but, but, would yeah, and I know when you... I, I said look, to Ricky, I said, I, mate, I, you know I, you're stuffed up. He said, his answer was, he said, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I knew he on Sunday it, morning. It, it he knew on Sunday uh, morning. No, no point has he ever tried to say... I know you know, that. And, and, I know, but and, that doesn't mean... Look, Nathan Cleary didn't mean to spear someone through the ground, mate, but he did, and he had to pay the pay the price for it. And in this occasion, Ricky, he, he crossed he can, the line of what's acceptable, and he knows that. I don't think a one-game ban's over the top. I actually think it's it's understandable. I don't, I don't think a one-game ban uh, ban is over the top either, but it's a one-week ban. It's in a complete it's week. Not yeah, back right. the club it's everything. It's, not it's the whole box and I actually think the it, break will do him the world of good. Quickly He's not allowed back at the club till next Wednesday. Quickly. I think this will become the new benchmark. That's what I was going to say. That's so what, do you think that's now the that, that coaches will get banned more often? Well, I think. Of course uh, they will. In, in cases it's of significance, we've now seen this is where the NRL are willing yeah. to go. And I think it will become the there norm. Are, there are it several re repeat offenders in the coaches. Ricky's one of them. Mm. Trent Robinson's one of them. Des Hazard is another one of them. There are, there are numerous repeat offenders. Mm. And they, they, they're looking at time on the sideline at some yeah. point. If they, they coach long enough, they'll find but a week you know on what? the sideline. The, 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 the flip side of that is you'll get every coach turning up at a press conference and saying nothing. And, and when you sit at home on a Saturday night mm. and you're waiting to see what happens and mm. what's Ricky had to say after the game, mm. it's one of the highlights of the night. Yeah. And if you take that passion and that emotion away from a press conference... They'll get the old Wayne Bennett, one-word yeah. answers. Yep. Yeah. They'll no, get the, what maybe. they wish for. Fair call. Cool.